My dear brothers and sisters, years ago I was in Bangkok, Thailand, uh, visiting communities of Christians in that country. And in Bangkok itself, I heard an interesting story from an American businessman that I ran into. He said he was at a meeting somewhere in the city and wanted to get back to his hotel. It was a very hot day. And so he flagged down a duk duk. Duk duks are the motorized rickshaws in, in Bangkok. And he explained to the driver where he wanted to go. And the driver said, I'm not taking you. He said, well, why not? He said, because the hotel is only a kilometer away. You're very fat and you should walk. <laughs> well, this businessman turned and took about two steps, just boiling with rage and spun around and stuck his fist up in the air and raised a finger. The duk duk driver thought he was pointing out a bird, so he was looking up to see <laughs> what was so interesting in the sky. And this fellow told me, there I was in a, in a business suit with a briefcase with my hand in the air and one finger raised, and it was all lost. <laughs> the fellow didn't understand what I was trying to say. I sometimes see that gesture on the highway here in New Jersey. <laughs> Not that I provoke it. Two groups of people looked at what Jesus did in the gospel today, making the mute man speak, freeing him so he could speak. And they saw different things. The crowds were amazed. The religious leaders were skeptical. They didn't really believe what they were seeing. So they fell back on their old narrative fell back really into blasphemy, saying it's by Beelzebub, the prince of demons, that this one casts out demons. Jesus disarms them. I suppose it, the logic of Jesus in answering them was what inspired the famous sayings of Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King said, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light drives out darkness. And hate cannot dispel hate. Only love can dispel hate. If it's by the prince of demons that I cast out demons, she says, it just doesn't make any sense. Any more sense than a stronger man cannot disarm the weaker. My brothers and sisters, the time of Lent is a time when we allow the stronger love of God to disarm us, to cut through the narratives we've constructed, to open our eyes to what is real, the relationship we have with God by God's choice, the unfaithfulness that we've shown to that relationship the blindness we've dispelled towards our brothers and sisters. And the way we do that is the same way that the mute speak. Most often in the gospel, someone can't speak because they can't hear. And Jesus opens their ears so that they can speak. If we as disciples think we have nothing to say before the darkness and the hatred of our time. If we have nothing to say, that means we haven't heard. Let us ask the Lord to open our ears to his word so that we may speak his truth in the darkness of our times.